Hey guys, it's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch, and I realize that it's been a month since since I have posted a video, and I'm I'm super sorry. Obviously, uh, it's it's uncharacteristic of me to do that, and uh, I just I've had a lot of things come up in this last month, and I've really um, I've really just sort of invested myself in work, and and it's just been super busy. So. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you still love me. So, so this week's topic, somebody wrote in, and uh, their question is is basically this: um, How do you how do you set boundaries between your friends and your exes, and should you set boundaries? Um, Basically, this person said that um, they recently broke up with their now ex-girlfriend, and they found out that one of their one of their longtime friends has been like got their ex's number. Um, they like ran into each other or whatever, and and they exchanged phone numbers, and this they've been texting. Um, the friend isn't the one who told her. Um, it was the ex-girlfriend. I guess they like hung out or whatever. So. This person just wants to know, um, are you supposed to set boundaries with your friends and, and just basically how do you go about doing so? Now, I, I, I guess I could say that this sort of does hit home for me because I'm a huge, huge advocate for having your own, your own set of friends completely separate from your girlfriend and, you know, your, your ex. Um, I know that the community is really small, but I promise it's possible. Um, you don't necessarily have to cross those lines if you don't want to. And for me, I think it's it's all about um, it's all about loyalty. And you guys can you guys can absolutely obviously have your own opinion on this. And I, I highly encourage you to to let me know how you feel uh, about this situation or whatever. But Personally, for me, it's it's all about trust. It's all about loyalty, and um, yeah, you can still hang out with your ex, but at the same time, like it's it's really important to to separate your ex from the things that you're doing from your friends. And you know, I have a very small group of really really close friends, people that I I completely trust and and confide in, and. You know, especially if if I've come to that particular friend and I've confided in them about things that happened with my ex, um, that would be really tough for me to find out that they're now, you know, texting or they're friends or something. Um, so I think that it I think that it is important to establish those boundaries. Uh, my you know my really good friends know you know and and the, it's. The same goes for them. I would never, I would never ever step outside of my friendship with them and try to, and try to be friends with the person that they, that they formerly were with. Um, and let's say that their ex approached me and wanted to be friends with me. Um, I think that before, before I let any of that happen, I would bring it to my friend's attention and just see how they felt about it, you know? I think that's the most important thing. Communication, I've said this a million times in the past. Um, communication is key. It's, it's incredibly important. So um, there's a way to, to set the boundaries without, without making demands of your friends. I think that's, that's where, where that, that fine line is. Um, don't tell your friends who they, who they can and can't be friends with, you know? Um, but if you say, hey, like, this is, this is weird for me, I don't really know, uh, I don't really know the intention, and, you know, I trust you, I confide, I confide in you about personal things, and, um, it just makes me feel weird that, that you're now pursuing a friendship with my ex. Um, I don't know, again, it just all goes back to communication, and always, always saying how you feel, um, don't ever get defensive about the situation or um, accuse or anything like that. Um, just make sure that, that your friends know how you feel. Again, it's all about loyalty and trust and, and, you know, and keeping 
the lines of your exes and, and your friends and things that you're currently doing, keep it, keep it separated. Um, for me, I'm, I'm different around people that I've, that I've been with, you know, if I've spent two and a half years with you, um, I'm a little different around you and I treat you differently than I do my friends. So if I've broken up with you, it's really important for me to, um, to be around just my friends and because it allows me to, to be myself. So after going on a tangent about that, you guys know how I feel. Um, how do you feel? Do you, do you set boundaries? If you do, how do you set those boundaries? When do you set those boundaries? And, um, what's, What's too much? What's crossing the line? Um, that's it. That's my video. I, I hope you guys have a really great week. And by the way, this weekend, this coming weekend, is San Diego Pride. So if you guys are out and about and you see me running around, stop me and give me a hug or something because I love that. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great week. Bye, guys.